depending on how much information you want to include on the plot itself, it's handy to have the channel number and either the circuit number or the dimmer number in these symbols here. And they would fit, as far as notation, this is called notation, they would fit behind the unit like so. So if we take our template and we place this hexagon right behind the unit and then we place a circle behind that we might enter that our circuit number or our dimmer number is 103 in your neatest handwriting possible and let's say our channel is channel 1 so this gives us our channel number and our dimmer number in this particular case we also have our color scroller so that would also get a channel and possibly you might assign it you might enter your DMX number there as well so I'm going to use this square or this rectangle for the DMX number instead of the hexagon and then enter a tra channel number here so our DMX number might be let's say 5 12 and our channel for this could be 21 when hand drafting this might be an awful lot of work and quite often we leave all that off and we just assign the number to our unit and then we check a different list called the hookup now in this case we need to know what pipe we're using here so I'm going to give this a label, I'm just going to put a label on the end of the pipe make it fancy, put it into a circle and we're going to call this, let's say, pipe number one and we'll make it harder, I'm going to call it pipe number nine so I draw a circle and then a vertical and that is pipe number nine now you could also write out electric number nine electric if you wanted to I have different plots that do different things I'm going to draw my lettering lines right there and then write in number one number nine electric my number sign nine I've gotten too close to the edge of the paper for this demo. Number nine electric. So this unit here, since we always number our units from stage right, sorry, from stage left to stage right, from audience right to audience left. So this unit here, since we always number our units from stage left to stage right, is going to be unit number one. This will be unit number two. unit number three and so on. 